So, you're interested in learning how to attract younger women? There's no shame in that, but there are a bunch of do's and don'ts that you're going to want to be aware of before putting yourself out there on the proverbial battlefield. With that said, if you're interested in how to get a younger woman to show you her undivided attention, I have the ultimate list showing you how to go about getting there. Just remember that there are plenty of ways to build a birdhouse, and just as many ways to woo a woman, especially younger ones. This list is just a few tried and tested methods to get that sought after attention you're looking for. Without further ado, let's get started. Be a rock. Not the ex wrestler turned actor mega superstar rock, but if you can be him, then you're probably all set. For the rest of us who aren't Dwayne Johnson, we need to rely on just being a rock or a stable foundation for the woman to lean on. There's not really a nice way to say this, but women are naturally more emotional and dramatic than men. This isn't saying we don't have our shortcomings, but when it comes to women, there's always lots going on in their lives. In most cases, a woman will also keep this kind of stuff bottled up more than men. Sure, we've all seen a Karen go off a time or two, but you've probably seen more fights break out between guys than girls. This is the number one reason why you need to do like the Disney movie says and let it go whenever a woman gives you the business. So just let her haul off and flip out on you? Not quite. Just stay calm and let it go. Don't be the guy who rushes in to fix everything. Don't try to be her daddy. Keep your cool and let her know that you're her rock. Be an ear and listen, but don't get involved unless asked. Even then, encourage her to handle her business. This will make her portray you as not only a friend or ally, but someone who supports her. And women, as well as men, enjoy being around others who are supportive of them. Chivalry is not dead. Truth be told, a lot of younger women aren't even familiar with what chivalry means. Being that you're older, you probably know what it is, but just in case, I'll go over it. If you naturally open doors, pull out their chair, take the time to plan a date, or help them with their jacket, all without being asked, then you, my friend, are being chivalrous. As an older gentleman, it's a surefire way to assert your dominance and show them that you're more respectful and classier than all the other guys who would typically be swooning over her. Change is a good thing, right? At least that's what everyone says. Whether or not you believe that, if you're in the market for dating younger women, you best be ready for a world of change. You need to be able to prepare your mind to handle whatever curveballs she throws your way. With age comes experience, and younger adults lack that luxury. Even though you may have been around for some time while learning a thing or two about this and that, you'll need to grow with her as she experiences the same things. If you want her to take you seriously, you need to help her grow as a person while being supportive of her in whatever ventures she shows interest in. Keep in mind that it'll likely be more sporadic than what you're used to with women your age. Make a little bit of time for her. I know that you're going to want to spend every waking minute together, but what you need to understand is that younger women aren't fully developed when it comes to their emotional level. In the early stages of development, seeing each other just once or twice a week is best. Otherwise, you risk looking desperate or coming across as clingy. Even if it seems like that's what she wants, it's best to just leave off the gas just a little and keep it spaced out. In most cases, younger ladies need to spend time with their friends, and you need to accommodate for that. While we're on the subject of being clingy, we arrive at my next point. The easiest way to make a younger woman run off in the opposite direction is to start digging into her life. No matter what, avoid her work life, her social life, and her family life at all costs. This is especially true in the earlier stages of the relationship. This means that under no circumstances should you be showing up at her house, calling her while she's at work, or making a surprise appearance when she's out for a night with the girls. We all need some level of independence, and with younger ladies, this couldn't be any truer. Ultimately, you're going to want to spend as much time with her as possible and do as much for her as possible, but take it from me, this is not the persona you want long term. It may seem okay at first, but I assure you it will have damaging effects in the long run. You don't want to be that creepy old dude that she calls anytime she needs something done around the house. Make yourself a rare commodity, not a common, everyday interaction. Be playful. Not so much in a sexual way, but being younger, she'll likely enjoy some flirting and fun from time to time. Try some playful teasing, occasionally making fun of her and trying to trigger her fake madness. Don't overdo it, it's meant to be fun and when done properly can bring you to great results. Flirt, be fun, and play, but whatever you do, steer as far as you can from accidentally playing the creep card. Being an older man, it can be surprisingly easy to drop, and once it hits, it may be an impression that is impossible to erase. Some girls are already intimidated by older guys, so don't lay it on too thick. Remember not to talk too much about yourself or get caught staring. 
Play it confident and cool, and everything will be fine. Something you're going to want to avoid is pretending to be younger than you actually are. Your age is your age, and there's nothing you can do about it. Don't claim to be 25 when you're 35. You're going to also want to avoid college campus bars and, while they may be tempting, the girls who would be there have just become of legal age, and if you're a fair bit older, that can lead someone to gain a not-so-flattering opinion of you. And, like I just said, it can be a pretty rough impression to drop. As mentioned at the beginning of this video, there are plenty of ways to build a birdhouse, and you'll have to find out which way is the best for you. It comes down to what kind of bird you're looking for, what kind of tools you have, and how experienced of a builder you are to determine what kind of success you find. Just remember to keep it cool, give her space, don't try to be her daddy, and avoid coming off as a creep, and the rest should fall into place.